for coming out to the Byron Sounds of Summer. We are so happy to see a wonderful crowd out here this evening. I know a lot of you people know the Chapmans because you've seen them at Byron Goes Bluegrass. How are we? All right. They are one of my personal favorites, so when it come down to the bluegrass evening here for our concert series for the community, there was nobody else I wanted to bring in but the Chapmans. So please, let's have a rip-roaring round of applause from Ozark, Missouri, IBMA Emerging Artists of the Year, the Chapmans.
Was it something that I said Or did I forget to say that I love you
Oh, thank you all so much. Well, we are the Chapmans, and uh, we are all the way in from, from Ozark, Missouri. How many people are familiar with Ozark, Missouri? Anybody been there? All right, there's been a quite a few. Good for you. I don't never see it anymore, so somebody ought to, I guess. But we are tickled to death to be with you folks in Byron Center, and uh, we're going to have us a good old time. We're going to play some tunes that, uh, that we know, and we're going to play even more songs that we don't know. So uh, it's going to be... It's going to be a heck of a night. <laughs> but uh, we want you all to have a good time. I want you all to make as much noise and scream, holler, and yell. And if you hear anything you like, just, just let us know. Because if you don't, we get all upset and offended and hurt. And we're pretty shallow people, especially the guy on the end there. He's, he's really shallow. But we're tickled to death to be here. And uh, we're going to do you a song off of a new CD. We got a brand new CD that, ju CD that just came out at the beginning of the year on Compass Records and uh, is actually right now number 16, I believe, on the Bluegrass charts. So uh, we're pretty proud of that. And we're going to do you a song right now that's off of there. This is a real pretty slow tune that uh, was one of my favorites. And hope you all like it too. It's, uh, it's one of them girly love songs. And it's one called Jenny Deer. Jenny dear, Jenny dear I'm walking the meadow There's millions of stars out tonight Hold my hand beneath the moon And I whisper that I love you Oh, when you're near me, everything's alright I still recall the moment that I met you I can still see the spark
Thank you. Well, that's a pretty song right there, and I hope you all liked it. Like I said, it's one of my faves, so... Uh, I enjoyed it. I'm going to introduce a fellow to you right now that's uh, raring and, and blazing to go. That's right. He always stands to my right because he doesn't stand to my left, and uh, we're real proud of that. I'm making stuff up now, Jer. He's an amazing mandolin player. I think he's one of the finest mandolin players there is anywhere. And I'm serious. I mean it. He's, he's one of the best. And we're real proud to have him on stage with us. Ladies and gentlemen, please make him welcome. This is Jeremy Chapman on a mandolin. Thank you. All right, we're going to do a song right now that's uh, also from the new CD. This is our 20th anniversary as a band. How many people are seeing the Chapmans for the first time? All right, a whole bunch of you. Well, appreciate you coming out for our anniversary. It's a song that I wrote way back when we were first starting. It was inspired by uh, a gal from the popular TV show, Marsha Brady. I wrote this song for Marsha. It's one called She's the One I Can Turn To. I drove home last night just like so many times before. My thoughts were lost sorrow till I saw her. Whopper 
talents are few. much what was that that's <laughs> that was the mclean that family was. that's where I we first heard somebody that. knew that that's pretty amazing well, yeah that's also from the new cd and that's when we did when we were just little bitty kids and it was the most adorable thing back then and we decided we wanted to put on the new cd and knew we weren't near as adorable so we better make it sound fun does he <laughs> i don't think I, I saw them when raymond was 16 but I wasn't born yet, Dad says. <laughs> but yeah, that, we did get that from the, the that's what he said. <laughs> that one's on the new CD. We actually filmed a music video for that song right there. We, we had so much fun recording it. It became one of our favorite songs, and uh, we made a music video, and it turned out just about as fun as the uh, actual playing the song. So you check that out. It's now on YouTube, and it's also on GACTV.com if you get that. Uh, it was a whole lot of fun doing that video. It's even got a pretty girl in it, so uh, we, I check it out often. <laughs> I got to introduce this fellow over there that looks like Raymond, Raymond McLean when he was 16. He's, uh, this is his second show he's played with the band. We got a new fiddle player back uh, almost two years, I, I guess actually a little over a year now. And uh, his name is Tyler Beckett, and right now he's in Europe uh, playing with a country band. He had a prior engagement for this, uh, this whole month, so we uh, re recruited an old friend of ours from down in Springfield. And he's just doing, been doing a great job coming up with all the, uh, the licks that Tyler plays with two weeks' notice and one, and one practice session. If you give him a big round of applause, make him feel welcome. On the far end of the stage, that's Andrew Morton. Right now we're going to do another song from the new CD, and this is uh, probably the second most fun song. 
It's an old uh, Jim and Jesse McReynolds tune. That I, it's not really their tune, but that's where we heard it. It's actually a Spanish song that they decided uh, should be done bluegrass style, which we thought was the coolest thing when we were teenagers. And uh, then we grew out of it and figured it wasn't cool enough anymore. So we made it a Russian Spanish bluegrass song. So uh, I hope you enjoy this next Russian Spanish bluegrass medley. It's one called the El Cumbanchero. Mighty fine, mighty fine. It's one called El Cumanchero there for you. And uh, how about another big hand for Jeremy Chapman over here on the mandolin? Oh, thank you. I'm going to introduce this fellow standing on my left. He uh, does most of the lead singing for the band. And uh, as you can already tell, he's an excellent guitar player. But in case uh, you weren't convinced, he has been awarded the Guitar Player of the Year Award three times in bluegrass music, which we were just all proud of him for. Give him a big round of applause. That's John Chapman on the guitar. I'm gonna do uh, a special song right now, and uh, this is also recorded on the new album. Um. 
going to get everybody to vacate the stage. <laughs> We mentioned earlier that, uh, that uh, this is the 20th year for the Chapmans, and uh, when we started the, uh, the band 20 years ago, this is exactly how I pictured it right now on the stage. <laughs> Kidding. No, we, uh, this song uh, that we're going to do for you, uh, like I said, is recorded on the new album, and uh, just over, over almost five years ago, in a couple weeks it'll be five years, I married a... A very, a very beautiful and uh, sweet lady, and uh, when we got married, we, uh, we danced to this song. This was the uh, first song we ever danced to, and also the very last song we ever danced to. At the same time, she, uh, she said never again, so she knew better. But uh, we danced to this song, and uh, right afterwards, she told me that I had to learn this song, and the uh, first thing I learned about being married was that I had to learn this song, so I did. <laughs> And then uh, just about uh, a little over two years ago, we had a baby girl, and uh, she was, uh, when she was born, she had a, a big kind of ordeal when, uh, at birth and had to be flown to Kansas City in a helicopter and uh, stayed there for about two and a half weeks, and we were told she wasn't going to make it, and that was probably the scariest time in my entire life. And uh, she pulled through with flying colors, and uh, today she's perfectly healthy, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with her, and uh, we thank God every day for that. And so I'm going to do this song, and this is, uh, I always dedicate this to my wife and my daughter, and I hope you all enjoy it. One called I Want to Be Loved Like That. Go on. 
my John Chapman there. I loves like that, loved like that. If I was going to sing that song, I'd sing it just like that. In fact, I'm going to do that right now, folks. Sing it. No. We'll spare you that. I'm going to introduce this fellow that's uh, been standing to my right. He's, uh, he is our dad, which makes him the oldest man on stage. Stands to reason somehow that worked out. No, he, he does do a fine job. We've been traveling the, the road this last 20 years with him, and somehow we still get along most of the time. He's, uh, we've given him the title of producer of the band because he literally produced the band. That's a joke right there. It's a funny joke. That's the funniest thing I've ever said, yes. Why don't you give a big round of applause for our producer? That's Bill Chapman on the banjo. I'm going to introduce Phil on the upright bass over there. He's, uh, he's our youngest brother and uh, does a fine job playing the upright bass, the big doghouse bass over there. We've given him the nickname of Grizz because uh, just like a grizzly bear, 90% of his body is covered in fur. Ringling Brothers was trying to recruit him for one of their side shows. <laughs> but we got him first. He's the Grizz, and uh, he's even got a, a sound effect that goes along with him. Anytime he does something that you folks like, instead of applauding for him, just put your paws up in the air and go, Roar! It's a way of showing affection. Go ahead and give it a try right now. Just put your paws in the air and go, Roar! Well, that's it. Just make sure you keep it about that pitch right there. Any higher pitch, and it sounds a lot like the mating call, and uh, we might lose Jason for the rest of the show. We only got two more songs, so. Well, why don't you give a big round of applause? That's Jason Grizz Chapman. Selling sweet corn by the road He never made a big deal out of life Born the son of a preacher He did what he was told He was a simple man Doing what was right A simple man At the corn the grocery There's a man who stalks a shell Arranging things so anyone can see To work and every night he leaves And no one knows a greater pride than me A simple man Oh, to the simple man in his easy-going way His rock and tribulations few And though he may seem humble in our ever-changing world He can't fault a simple man
<laughs> That's the title cut of a couple CDs back, one called Ode to the Simple Man. Jeremy always likes to likes me to mention that uh, that song was the uh, made it, uh, I believe, up to like number seven on the bluegrass charts, and uh, it was also the only song that he sang on that particular album, and uh, he's real proud of that. I just like to make sure you remember. <laughs> We got uh, time to do y'all uh, one more uh, tune here, and then uh, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be back. Uh, we'd love for all for y'all to come on by. I know we got a record table set over here. Has the brand new CD uh, along with some of the older stuff. Has our uh, new T-shirts out. We've got uh, glow sticks for all the kids and all you adults too, and uh, 20th anniversary uh, limited edition posters that are actually uh, signed and uh, dated by the uh, artist. So those are, uh, those, are, those are numbered and everything. They won't be around too much longer. So we just got all kinds of good stuff over there. And even if you don't want to pick up something, we'd love for you all to come by and uh, tell us if you like the show. Um, tell us mainly if you liked it. If you didn't like it, we don't want to hear from you. So, uh, but uh, come on. We do have a bunch of requests for the next show, and uh, we'll, we'll be try to get as many of those in as, as we possibly can. I believe the, the most requests we got was, uh, please don't do the next show. So... Uh, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> we choose which request we honor. We're going to get out of here with this last tune that I actually wrote. It's an instrumental song that's going to give everybody a chance to, to show out just a little bit. And uh, look for this in your grocery shelves. It's a new flavor of ice cream coming to you. It's one called Pickle Flavored Ice Cream.
Thank you all so much. We'll be back in a short while. Thank you.